here with Media Communications, Fred Zermino from Bob Archuleta's office. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. Fortunately, Senator Bob Archuleta is in Sacramento today, and they're working on legislative issues for us here in, uh, in, in District 32. Uh, District 32 has um, uh, 20 cities that we represent, just a little bit of, uh, over a million people. And, and the senator wants to thank uh, the city of Pico Rivera and Garden Heart for coming here to the city of Pico Rivera and making sure that we test folks for antibody uh, uh, coronavirus testing uh, because it's important that uh, folks get tested, especially in these communities that were really hit hard uh, with, the with, with the coronavirus. So it's important that we take our antibody tests and then you speak to your physician uh, right after that to see what the next steps are. Uh, but Garden Heart is doing a great thing. They're going to various cities and, and they're getting big results. They were in Whittier, the city of Whittier, just three weeks ago. Uh, over uh, 1,400 people tested and 25% of them came back positive. So it's important for the senator to see those numbers. It's important for the state of California uh, to see those numbers uh, because uh, funding for these communities uh, is important and uh, we just want to make sure we get our fair share out here. How has the vaccine rollout been for the 32nd district so far? You know, for the 32nd Senate district, uh, we have to right now uh, uh, abide by the rules for the vaccine rollout. You know, you have uh, 1A, I think they were in uh, 2B, uh, or uh, excuse me, 1B, and then now they're in 2, uh, doing uh, 65 and over. Uh, but unfortunately, the vaccines were a little short in, in the county of Los Angeles. We just opened up another facility at Cal State Los Angeles uh, with the gover government, local government, and the federal government. So we're going to be doing 6,000 vaccines per day at Cal State Los Angeles. Uh, so please sign up at myturn.ca.gov and they'll notify you when it's your turn to get the vaccine. Mr. Zerbono, thanks for your time today. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.